Hi there, little language learners. It's me, Bookie the Linguist, and today we have three super special words to add to our vocabulary. These are no ordinary words. They're like magical spells, capable of transforming your interactions into something truly extraordinary. They're the keys to opening doors of respect, kindness, and understanding. So, are you ready to uncover these magical words that can make your world a happier place? Fantastic! Buckle up, and let's dive into a fascinating journey of learning. The first magical word is please. When you want something like borrowing a toy from a friend, you can say, can I please borrow your toy? This simple word can make a big difference. It's like a key that opens doors to cooperation and friendship. Imagine you want to play on your friend's swing. You can ask, can I please have a turn? This isn't just about being polite, it's about showing respect for others. Remember, using please shows that you are polite and respectful. The second magical word is thank you. When someone does something kind for you, like giving you a gift, you say thank you. This magical phrase is your way of acknowledging their act of kindness. For instance, if your friend shares their favorite toy with you, you can light up their day by simply saying thank you. Or when your mom makes you a scrumptious breakfast saying thank you, lets her know you appreciate her. It's like casting a spell of gratitude and adding a sprinkle of joy to their kindness. The third magical word is sorry. If you accidentally do something that might make your friends sad, like bumping into them, saying sorry is like using a magic potion to make things right. Suppose you're playing and accidentally knock over your friend's block tower. Instead of running away, you can say, I'm sorry I knocked over your tower. Or if you somehow hurt your friend's feelings, a heartfelt sorry can mend the situation. It's a powerful word because it shows you care about their feelings. Now, let's see these magic words in action. Just imagine you're in a playground and you want to join a game that your friends are playing. You could say, please, can I join your game? That's right, you've just used the magic word please. Next, picture this, your friend lends you their favorite toy. You could say, thank you for letting me play with your toy. Yes, that's the magic word thank you in action. Now let's say you accidentally broke your friend's pencil while you were using it. You can say, I'm sorry I broke your pencil. There you go, you've just used the magic word sorry. Can you see how these words can change the way we interact with each other? It's like magic. Each one of them has the power to transform an ordinary conversation into a special moment. Great job, little language learners. Keep practicing these words because the more you use them, the more magical your world will become. Now let's practice using these magic words in everyday sentences. Imagine you're at home and you need a favor from your sibling. You can say, can you please help me with my homework? Or if your friend shares their snack with you at school, don't forget to say, thank you for sharing. And if you accidentally spill water on your friend's drawing, you can say, I'm so sorry for spilling water on your drawing. Can you say please when you need something? Thank you when you're grateful and sorry when you make a mistake? That was so much fun, wasn't it? We've learned the magic words, please, thank you, and sorry. These words are like magic spells, making our world a happier place. They show respect, gratitude, and care for others' feelings. So let's make a promise to use these magic words in our everyday lives. They're a powerful tool to spread kindness and make our relationships even more special. Until next time, magical language learners, stay kind and keep using those magic words. See you soon.